Today, we are talking about this. This little device is going to supply your Crane 3S gimbal with much more torque. It's called the Power Plus Battery Pack. In a few moments, I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes footage of me using this battery pack on the Crane 3S gimbal on a car. So basically what I did with Armando, big thanks to Armando, by the way, for helping me out with this video, is we took the Crane 3S gimbal, we used the battery pack, we used his C500 Mark II, which is a Canon cinema camera, and we used a 50 millimeter cinema glass from Canon as well. And we rigged it all on the Crane 3S while driving 45 to 50 miles per hour on a Jeep. And this battery pack is what made it possible. So what is this battery pack all about? What are some of the features? Well, basically when you get it out of the box, it has some weight to it. It's made out of aluminum. And inside of this thing, when we open it up, we get six 18650 batteries. When all of these batteries are inside of this battery pack, we have a total output of 100 watts of power, which is phenomenal with a little battery pack like this. Some other features include two D-tap out ports, and this allows you to hook up multiple devices. So how does it actually add more torque to your gimbal? I'm gonna show you how to rig it onto your Crane 3S, and then we'll dive back more into the other features of this battery pack. So if you notice on the back of this battery pack, we have a V-mount connector. Along with this battery pack, you'll get a V-mount adapter, which attaches directly onto the Crane 3S via the mini rosette mount. All you need to do is just screw it on using a flathead screwdriver and screw it on tight. Then you can just simply slide on the battery pack and it clicks right into place. Next, take the included cable that came with the battery pack and hook it up to the D-tap out port, which is on top of the battery pack, but make sure it's hooked up to the 21.6 volt out. Take the other end of the cable and hook it up directly into the Crane 3S DC in port. You're basically done and ready to go, but you're really not taking full advantage of the battery pack because you can hook up a ton of other accessories as well. We have an additional D-tap out. We have a DC out port, which supplies 7.4 volts at 3 amps. With this you can power monitors and lights and similar types of devices. We also have a 5 volt USB port which can charge your camera and leave it running for longer periods of time. You can use all of these ports simultaneously and the charging port is a USB-C in and out. So how did I rig this? Well after I installed the battery pack I put on my Cosmo 600 wireless HD transmission system from Hollyland this is a great addition to your gimbal because if you're doing crazy stuff like me rigging it on fast moving cars, you need to be wireless. And plus, if you have a DP or director that needs their own monitor, well, this is definitely a solution for you. So back to the transmission system, all I did was take the power cable that came with the transmitter and then hooked it up directly to the battery pack. Also, this shaved down a little bit of weight too because now I don't need to use another battery pack for the transmitter. And then you can continue adding on accessories until all of the ports are filled or until you use up the current that this battery pack supports. Once everything is rigged up, power on the battery pack by holding down the power button until all four LED indicators are turned on. To turn off the battery pack, just do the same thing. Also, you are going to get much better torque with this battery pack. So using the C500 Mark II in very windy conditions, this thing provided so much power. Even Armando was surprised, and you can catch out his video, which I don't know, depending on when he's gonna release it, I'll leave a link down below where you can check it out. But he talks about how this battery pack and how this gimbal are just extremely powerful, especially with his C500 Mark II. So make sure you check that video out, depending on when he releases it, don't worry, I'll keep that link up to date for you guys. So if you do need a gimbal that supports cinema grade setups, this is definitely the upgrade for you. I'll leave a link down in the description box below where you can pick one up. It's a must have, not only for the torque and the responsiveness of the gimbal, but overall you can mount on so many more accessories without adding too much more weight. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.